Here's the three best tips to lower your blood sugar naturally. From a doctor of natural medicine, primary care doctor taking care of 25,000 people, I saw di type two diabetics, type one diabetics, all the time and we have incredible success with three things dialing it into these three are what's going to make you break through number one add to your regimen on a daily basis for at least 30 days apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar has the acetic acid and it has blood sugar lowering capabilities some studies show it rivals metformin but at least even paired with metformin significant difference in your blood sugar levels now how do you take it two tablespoons in the morning two tablespoons in the afternoon is the key so that regimen i wouldn't stay on long term but for 30 days or 60 days very good way to help aid getting your blood sugar naturally under control it's so easy to do make sure it's organic my favorite brand is bragg's bragg's has a mother in it what's the mother the mother is that gooey stuff that kind of floats in there that's going to be your probiotics and the goodness of apple cider vinegar so tap into the antioxidant fermentation probiotic properties and blood sugar lowering properties of apple cider vinegars you down with acv yeah you know me number two the fastest way that i've seen completely heal the a1c the insulin resistance the broken metabolism that often occurs especially in type 2 diabetics is rotational fasting rotational fasting is using curbing consumption one of my five guidelines to clean eating to decrease the amount of food you're eating at specific meals, skipping specific meals, and or skipping entire days of abstaining from eating in order to reset your metabolism so that it can slowly wind its way back down to where it should and how much sugar it should be processing since it's overloaded. So your sensitivity levels reset and then you can add the amount of consumption back in coming out of it. So I did a 24 week protocol on this after hiring a insulin specific researcher to walk me through the science of understanding how we beat our metabolism up over time. We become sensitive to insulin and sugar in the body. Sugar backs up in the system. That's what creates fat. That's not fat on your system. It's excess sugar and how this is creating the storm of diabetes and sugar blood sugar problems in our country. So slowly resetting the metabolism is the key, but you've got to ease your body into it, fix it, and then ease your body back into more of a standard rhythm of eating. Intermittent fasting may be the one that you've already heard of. The problem with intermittent is you end up plateauing after a while, and a lot of people will just start it. They'll be eating their normal, uh, maybe standard American diet, sad way, and then boom, Monday, they just start intermittent fasting for several months. Well, we didn't really ease the body into coming down off of that insulin resistance, so oftentimes it doesn't heal the insulin resistance, although it will help, it will help control the blood sugar levels, so we need to go one more layer in to rotational fasting. More on that in a minute, but let me give you number three, which is one of my favorite herbs for controlling blood sugar levels, and that's glucomannan. Administration of the konjac root, also known as glucomannan, significantly decreased the levels of fasting blood sugar, serum insulin, glucagon-like peptides, and glycated serum protein, all four of those in studies just by taking it on a daily basis. What that means is very good at lowering blood sugar levels. And so I like to take a powdered form of this in my smoothies each day to help keep my blood sugars in, in check, especially in the morning. A lot of times I'll just put it right in my coffee. So I'm getting some of these uh, health benefits of insulin supporting organic coffee along with glucomannan, but it's another one of my favorite herbs to be using, especially when you're curbing your consumption and maybe taking apple cider vinegar. This is a good one to have in. Now, unlike apple cider vinegar, this can be used long term on a daily basis. It's gonna help bind foods together. It's gonna be good for your cholesterol levels. It's also going to be very, very good for blood sugar. So glucoman and konjac root, there's a link for a powder form of this that I use with my protein in a smoothie or in my coffee. Now, if you want to know how to implement the rotational fasting regimen to really fix the overall broken metabolism that causes a high blood sugar problem, I made a whole training on it and a breakout resources to show you how exactly how to do it. And I put that video right here for you.